One feature of the Celtron Ultra that gets your immediate attention is the new alphanumeric keyboard. It operates in a manner similar to a cell phone directory, where characters can be created from the number keys. Which brings us to the subject of setup. To begin, make sure the memory card is loaded. As you go through the test routine, be mindful of all required procedures as prescribed by the organization for whom you are conducting the tests. Let's start with the Dura probes. To begin testing, press and hold the power button. Select Battery Setup in the main menu section and press the Enter key. In this case, we will be conducting a new test, so select New and press the Enter key. We should identify the string or location we will be testing, so we should overwrite the string name by pressing Enter. Then press the Back key to delete letters. Because this unit features an alphanumeric keypad, we can spell out the new name for this string. When we have finished, press Enter. We can change test settings easily. In the String Info list, use the arrow keys to scroll through your options and press Enter to select. It's extremely important to enter the correct number of jars you're testing in this string. Before you enter a number in jars per string, count them. Generally, jar or battery testing is done against a set of reference values. The Celtron Ultra gives you more options than any analyzer yet invented. For testing with reference values, you have three options. One is to use a reference from the Celtron Ultra database. Select Battery Manager. Select Manufacturer. Scroll to a manufacturer's name and press Enter. Select a model. The idea is to match reference values to the actual models you're testing. But suppose the models you're testing do not match any in the Celtron Ultra database. You can have the analyzer create a reference standard based on the values of the batteries you're actually testing. This value is based on a percentage of batteries that have the highest conductance value. Here's how to set it up. Select Battery Manager. Select Reference Developer. This will allow you to use the top or highest value. Press Enter to accept 30%, which is the default setting. Or you can set your own parameters, say 20%. Just use the arrow keys or keypad to make your selection. Your third option is to develop your own reference value. Select Reference. Use the arrow keys or keypad to select a percentage, then press Enter. Finally, if you wish, you may test without a reference value. Select Reference. Use the arrow keys or keypad to select zero, then press enter. Now you have selected the parameters of your choosing. So select save and test and begin testing. Or you can select save and continue and you're ready to create or update a new file or string.